Hi guys, welcome to Gonchika Recipes and Vlogs. In this uh, vlog, we are talking about uh, different kinds of roses here in Germany. And uh, these are the wild roses, what you notice here. Which is a deciduous shrub and uh, it's not very showy flowers. And their flowers are pale lavender or pink. And uh, have only five petals and like the multi petaled multicolored uh, cultivars the flowers appears from may to november and uh, attract many different kinds of pollinator insects which make the wild rose a good hedge row or uh, wild life corridor plant the wild rose plants grow in thickets and provide great habitat for birds and Once the rose petals falls, the rose hip grows. When it is fully matured, it can be eaten raw. It can be dried and steeped to make a tasty winter tea that's high in vitamin C. Even the petals of these flowers are also edible and can be used for salads. Because of these uh, prickly stems and uh, tendency to form thickets over time, these wild roses make a good screen or barrier plant as it attracts pollinators which benefits other plants in your garden so these wild roses can be used for these purposes then comes the next category old garden roses these are mainly divided into two subcategories that is uh, summer flowering old roses and repeated uh, flowering old roses the summer flowering old roses are originated mainly in uh, Central Europe whereas the repeated flowering old roses were introduced from China to Europe in 18th century. And, uh, these old roses are uh, woody shrubs with uh, notably fragrant and double flowered blooms primarily in uh, shades of white, pink and crimson red. The third uh, category is modern uh, garden roses. These are the roses introduced after 1867 and uh, they've come from the old garden roses. The very first modern rose type is considered to be La France. It's the hybrid tea rose. These roses are actually divided into mainly four categories. They are like wild roses, old roses and garden roses and modern garden roses the roses what you see here these are the garden roses based on the rose petals it's uh, divided like you know as rose petal range in size from compact to miniature rose to climbers that can reach uh, seven meters height which are used for hedges and all roses were basically you know planted mainly in the central asia Actually, these roses are uh, 35 million years old, you know. The genus Rosa has some 150 species spread throughout the North Hemisphere. Garden cultivation of these roses began somewhere around uh, 5000 years ago, probably in China. These are the old uh, moss roses and uh, you can notice uh, these roses are uh, in clusters like three to four roses are blooming at once and they look so beautiful and uh, whereas these uh, red roses you can notice here they have used as a climbers for the entry door uh, decorations and uh, they give a nice appearance to your uh, garden These are quite uh, bigger roses than compared to the old uh, garden roses. You can notice so many roses have bloomed and uh, it's not able to withstand that weight. can notice the most of the roses colors are uh, in the shades of uh, pink red and white 
you can see even the orange shades as well they bloom throughout the summer those repeated flowering uh, garden roses and uh, it gives a nice view when you walk around the city i'm so happy seeing there's so many roses around uh, near my house and uh, so i wanted to share with you guys about uh, these rose culture here the roses what you find in the supermarket uh, in the bouquet are not these garden roses they are the modern roses with uh, thick uh, petals as well as uh, multi layered uh, petal structure and uh, these modern roses will have a longer uh, shelf life after it is plucked so it is uh, widely used in the outdoor uh, decorations or in the parties these are the flower rose bouquets what we found in the ulm farmers market when we had gone to visit ulm if you're not yet seen the ulm virtual train tour i'll place a link above you can watch it and uh, that's all about the roses i hope uh, everybody likes this uh, vlog and uh, If you're not yet subscribed to our channel please support us by subscribing to our channel if you like this vlog please like share and comment and uh, thank you so much see you next time bye bye stay safe and be happy